New shops have opened their doors in Wolverhampton this morning following a scheme to regenerate the high street. The city was given £100,000 after it was selected as one of the so-called Porters Pilots, a government initiative fronted by the retail expert Mary Porters. It comes a day after a report warned that one in five high street stores is at risk of disappearing. Giles Latcham reports. Exciting times for Lee Savory. His passion for fashion and music just turned into a business opportunity. He's been given the chance to move into an empty unit in a Wolverhampton shopping centre, rent-free for six months. You've got to have a bash at something, haven't you? The six months free rent and rights for the, will give us a foothold to develop. Um, from what the kids have seen before, and they're loving what we do. Um, so I think we've got a, a bright future. The money's come from a government initiative fronted by self-styled Queen of Shops, Mary Portis. Wolverhampton got £100,000 to tackle decline in city centre shopping. 14% of the units here are currently empty. Now, that's better than last year when it was 18%. But still, for the management, for the city, a depressing statistic. And Mary Portis highlighted probably what we already knew. Um, what it did allow us to do is provide us with a vehicle that we could all jump on and say, you know what, this is a great idea, let's just do it. It's not just about the shopping centre. The Portus money's been spent on the high street too, where a new report suggests one in five shops could close over the next five years. I've got the prominent side, lots of windows. Richard's not deterred, though. Bright and ambitious, he's got six rent-free months to establish a bistro-style cafe in this former nightclub, and he's brimming with optimism. The amount of investment and support that we're getting at the moment through the Porter scheme, um, there have been loads of little shops opening, quite loads of independents opening in different areas of the city centre. I don't think Wolverhampton's on its way out at all. On the retail battlegrounds, no doubt more casualties lie ahead, but there are those convinced the high street is far from dead. Giles Latcham, BBC Midlands Today, Wolverhampton. Well, we'd like to know what you think about this story. Do you care about your high street? Maybe you have a suggestion on how they can be saved. You can get in touch the usual ways via email, Facebook or Twitter.